Chuck, uh, to a number of folks who have either contemplated or had to carry a life raft on board an aircraft for an overwater flight, especially in the GA world, it's kind of black magic. They know it's there. They hope they never have to use it. And unfortunately, I'm not so sure that they really could use it if they tried. Let's talk a little bit about what you have here, the functions involved, and what people really should know about both selecting and using a life raft. Yeah, you're, you're right. A lot of people consider this black magic. Um, they're pretty simple to operate. Um, our, our pack, it, it, we, we like people to have control of it so they deploy it themselves. And what you do is you, you tie it off to a hard point on the aircraft or the, or the uh, um, boat. Um, and then basically you drop it overboard in the water. It'll land level. Give a yank on the painter line or the lanyard. And uh, in five to eight seconds, you have a life raft. Um, takes about 15 to fully deflate, but in about five seconds you can get in it and uh, and, and start you know getting the rest of your crew in and, and getting away from the, the sinking ship or the plane. Um, and we, we do recommend that people stay if they can stay tied up to the the, the vessel they just got out of because um, if it doesn't sink it just increases your visibility for search and rescue. Um, some of the other features are in the ELT um, in the in the uh, aviation life rafts or an EPIRB or GPIRB in the uh, um, marine world. And uh, the higher end ones automatically send out a signal to search and rescue and go through the satellites and let you know one that you're in trouble and two where to come find you on the, on the better ones. Um, so, but, but you're right, a lot of people think that it's, you know, it's, I, I hope I never see one, I hope I never have to use one, and that's part of the reason we come to these shows, is not only let you put hands on it and see how it works, but to actually, you know, see one inflated and see all the features in it. Um, some of the things that sets us apart is we're ten-sided, um, we call it nearly round, which uh, um, there's no bow or stern to get caught in a trough of a wave or get a, a you know, splash on it. They got a canopy that's fully zip it up, you button up for warmth. Um, and to keep you, the sun from beating down on you and keep some of the rain out unless you're trying to collect rain water for drinking. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Comes with a, uh, a flooring that's eight inches thick, and you can you pump it yourself. If it's hot outside, you don't you don't inflate the floor so you can stay cool. If it's uh, cold outside, you inflate the floor and and. and uh, Helps slow down the onset of hypothermia. Um, this one, as you see, it is a six-person life raft. Um, it'll hold nine people, even with one of the, the buoyancy tubes completely deflated. Um, it'll still hold the nine people. Um, we talked about the ELT. Depending on what what you're flying and, and how you're doing it, how you operate, um, it see the Part 91 or Part 135, and uh, the FAA or your governing uh, you know country. Um, will tell you what you have to have as far as survivability equipment and we can offer that and it will pack up inside of your life raft. And as you saw, some of the things that are amazing are uh, people are just amazed by the size that we can get these life rafts in. This is a the six person life raft can fit in this hard case like this or there's a, a, a soft release pack on the other side. And again, it will deploy right out of this case. You tie the painter line off, throw this whole carton in just like this, pull the lanyard and it will break through the straps and uh, you have a life raft. So, sorry about that. What's the weight on a system like this? This one, again, it's going to depend on what kind of survival equipment you have and whether you have an ELT or not, um, but it's going to be anywhere between 50 and 60 pounds. I believe this model is about 54 pounds, mm -hmm. as you see, which is pretty lightweight. I mean, you or I can manage that, drop in the water, um, and uh, even like flight attendants can still, you know, can still manage that too. Now, some of the bigger ones, I mean, we sell up to 15 person life rafts, so I mean, they're going to be heavier in the 84 or 85 pound range, but. Uh, Again, it's still manageable. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. 
for those in the smaller GA community, uh, a four-person or something like that for your typical GA four place, what's a system like that uh, look like in terms of weight and size? You're going to start looking. Uh, we, we sell them for general aviation that go anywhere from 29 pounds up to, say, the low 40s. Um, again, depending on size and equipment that you're going to put in there. And uh, we offer some for the general aviation community without a canopy. It's just like a dual safe, has two tubes, and uh, um, you know it's the basic basic stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's lighter weight, and and it's a great question because a lot of people think, oh, I don't fly far enough offshore, or I don't, you know, I don't really need one for my boat. But um, you know you can't tread water for forever, uh, especially if you have small children with you or uh, you know a spouse or, or, or parents, um, and it just makes sense to have a life raft, you know, especially in cold water. I, mean, I don't know if you've ever been in cold water, but I have. I grew up in Alaska on the fishing boats, and you get in that cold water, and I don't care how good a shape you're in, it, you're done. You know, you're, you just very quickly lose energy, and you can't even pull yourself out of the out of the water. So. Chuck, how, what do people need to know when they go out and select a life raft? I mean, obviously you're in the business, so you've got some preferences for your product. But, sure. but what, what, are, what are the things that people should be looking for for uh, GA or some of the light biz app people? What, what are the criteria that they need to use in selection of a life raft? Uh, first thing is quality. I mean, just j make sure you go with a company that that, uh, that you can check the quality on and has a good reputation. We've been through numerous um, magazines um, and uh, um, Aviation Digest did, did some uh, testing and rated us as the number one. Um, there's some other good companies out there, and uh, we, we'll never say anything bad about them because I mean they're they're they've got a good product too and they're in the business. But um, our, our quality, we, we have a, s a small company, 85 people in our company, um, but I, I could tell you who sewed this on. I could tell you who made the zipper by going through our records. Um, it's all made, designed, and manufactured in our company in Lake Susie, Florida. Um, but, but quality is it, customer service is it, because you want to make sure that every year, every three years, depending how your life raft is packed, that you can send it back and get a, get a good quality product in return. And you want to make sure that, that it's going to work for you when you need it. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. Which brings up a question. Uh, you have one that's been sitting around for a couple of years. What do you need to do to maintain them? What, what you need to do is uh, we offer a, a vacuum packing. Uh, we call it an Ultima pack. And uh, um, it's, it's basically a, a, a foil wrapper that goes around the life raft. And it extends your inspection criteria to three years, every three years. Um, and basically what happens is you send it back to us. We'll pull it apart. We'll inflate it with shop air. We'll make sure there's no leaks. We'll re check all the fittings in the uh, bottle. Um, we'll replace any perishable items, water, food, and any batteries that need to be replaced. And, um, and then pack it back up for you and return it to you. Um, so th that's the thing. Is it's just like a car. I mean, you change the oil, you do all the stuff, rotate the tires, it's going to last for you. You can get up to 15, 20 years of life out of one of these if you rotate, if you rotate it, if you get all the inspections done like we recommend. Thank you very much. Thank you.